Hello, I'm Dr. Apurva. I'm from JSR Institute of Craniofacial and Facial Plastic Surgery, Hyderabad. We are a hospital that has been catering for and taking care of children and adults who suffer from any facial deformities or any facial disfigurements for the past 30 years. So we concentrate on any pathologies or any problems which affect the face, the head or the neck. For the past 30 years, we've been working for the welfare of any children or any adults who are suffering from any head and neck anomalies or any facial problems, clefts, any craniofacial anomalies, any problems like that. So in this hospital, we uh, always look for people or children who suffer from such problems and we get them to our hospital. Here we provide accommodation, surgery as well as food, everything for free. We also provide medicines to the patients for free. So whenever we see a cleft child, we counsel not just the children or the parents, but also the people who are from the family of the child. So we uh, counsel the child, we tell them how to make uh, how to make sure that the kids are getting enough in nutrition. We have a team of specialized doctors and surgeons that are working with us. So we have a team of surgeons as well as speech therapists, orthodontists, dentists and nutritionists. So as a team, we take a multidisciplinary approach towards the treatment of the child. First, we counsel the parents. Then we generally have a sequence of surgeries that we follow for a cleft child. It goes like this. First, at the age of four months, we do something called primary keloplasty or the primary lip surgery in which we get the child when they are more than four months old and more than five kgs. Then we do the first lip surgery. Then uh, when the child is uh, one year of age, we do cleft palate surgery. At three and a half years, we start speech therapy where they are taught how to speak properly. Then when they are about eight years of age, we do something called secondary alveolar bone grafting in which we do a bone graft to cover the cleft alveolus or there's a gap in the bone from which the teeth grow out. Then at 12 years of age, we go for orthodontics because all the teeth will come out in a crooked fashion. So they need to be aligned and straightened so that the facial profile of the child will be improved. At the age of 15 years, we do some called jaw surgery or orthodontic surgery. So there we see how the face of the child is looking like. If it's looking okay, we don't do anything. Otherwise, if it's needed, we do something called the jaw surgery to align the jaws so that they have a nice looking face, which is symmetrical and has a good facial balance. Then at the age of 16 years, we do the last surgery, compulsory surgery for the child, which is called rhinoplasty or no surgery. Because whenever a child has a cleft, their nose will also be affected at that point. So we do rhinoplasty to correct the nose. Now for the final step for males, we suggest hair transplantation at the scar of the cleft lip. Or for females, we can do tattooing, permanent tattooing with the ink which has similar color to the skin of the patient. So this is our entire comprehensive process for treating a cleft child. Now, there are many other deformities that we tackle in the center. For example, any tumors on the face, any vascular tumors, any nerve tumors, things like lipoma, like fibrous dysplasia. So anything which will affect the face, any disfigurements at all. Here we are focusing on not just the surgical treatment of the patient, but also the comprehensive rehabilitation of the patient into the society. So taking this into account, in the year 2009, we've opened up a cleft hostel in association with a Swiss organization. So the full name of the project is GSR CPHS Cleft School Project. It is a building in Pavanpuri Colony in Hyderabad, in which we house about 100 children at each given time of the year. So uh, up till now, around 400 children have graduated through this program, where we take children and we take care of them. So any orphan children, poor children, children with only a single parent. And we give a preference to girls and for people who are suffering from poverty. So we get the child uh, into the system and they are provided free education, free accommodation, free food. And we support the children till they lead, till they are employed or till at a university level. So uh, one other good thing about this program is that many people who are treated by us, they actually enter into the system themselves as an employee of us. So we have many cleft children who are employed by us too. 
So it's a complete rehabilitation and complete integration of the cleft child or the patient suffering from a facial deformity into the society. We want to make sure and to tell everybody that a patient with a cleft or anybody with a facial deformity, they are just as normal as you and me. It's just that they have a different face. Nothing else is different. They are just as capable and they, are, they can be independent as you and me. So here we take care to make sure that all of our patients, they feel included, they feel safe. They feel like they are a very integral part of the society. And this is the treatment plan that we follow for all our cleft children. And there are a lot of other procedures that we do here as well. Everything is done free of cost. We try as much as possible to help our patients. So we always try to sponsor as much of the cost, including traveling charges, as much as possible. Our institute is headed by Professor Dr. Dr. Srinivas Posla Reddy, sir. He is the recipient of several awards like FRCS from Edinburgh and Glasgow, FDSRCS from Edinburgh, Glasgow, also FDSRCPS from Glasgow and PhD from the Netherlands. Uh, he has received many awards like the GAPIO National Physicians Award and uh, any and many other such awards. So what is a cleft? A cleft is merely a condition in which two segments of the lip or the palate are not joined together. So there can be a continuity in which we can see that the continuity is not there. So the lip, the alveolus, the palate, sometimes even the face like in a condition known as craniofacial clefts can be involved. So all these conditions are treated here. If you're interested in coming to visit the center, you can contact us at our Instagram page at GSR Hospital and we'll definitely show you around our center and also in our cleft hostel. So I just want to conclude this by saying that anybody with a different face is not different. They are the same as us. There's no difference between them or you and me. And we only want to bring the smile back to our patients. Namaskaram, my name is Dr. Shraddha Andi. I am at GSR Institute of Craniofacial and Facial Plastic Surgery. So, here we are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. So, what we are doing is that we are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. We are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. We are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. We are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. We are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. So, this is normal. What is the problem? We are doing this operation for the people who are doing this operation. बट अलांटी वे में कार दो ये भी एन कार ना लो दिन की संबंधित जो ना ऑपरेशन सनगा एन टी अब अन्य चाल मंदी की तेली दो सो दान की संबंधित जो ना दी एम एम क्वेश्चन सुनना गड़ा लेकिन बट एम एम डाउट्स ट्रीटमेंट एन टी अब अन्य कोड़ा तेली दन माता चाल मंदी वेरी वेरी छोटले के लिए अकड़ा चाल चार्ज शेष Putna pun nanti, inca tan biasa tu saman nanti na operations anata. So dan ke saman nanti na warni memu ikra chase tun tamu and ini biasa tu saman nanti na treatment andi. So ipuru putna pun nanti aim cayali. Walaku ini ente war baru anaga peraga dan mata. So walaki baru ke saman nanti na di ella penchali, ella tag piali. Ok vidan anga untun dia di chala mandi ki telidu. Ateli kunda walau ke upur titi lalu vele awakasha luntai walau ini tagi nak kuda lek pada mukun inci oce se awakasha luntai so awan ni kuda memikir awan ni explain ceh tamu baru ella penchala awan ni kuda cep tamu and pedivi ke saman inci na operation a wise lalu ceh ali and anggli kuda operation a wise lalu ceh ali enduk ceh ali mainly ini ante walau Matalu sariga rawali. Anggli operation chase te main rondo karnal wala chayali. In tante okti tin tine wanta lekte tage tante mukni inchu ostun tundi. So dhan karna malla. Inko kate in tante matalu. Matla nengga spastanga rawali kabati dhan ikosong mula operation chayal sesundi. Dhan tarwata ikra mata parikshal gora mata pariksha abiyasal gora chepis tun tamu. So anggli tarwata speech therapy nengga chase te wala ki matalu anengga spastanga oce kashalun tai. Dhan tarwata dhan ki Pantik ke saman dengan kami gula, ikra memujiestun tamu. Antek cleft nega, kuantum mandi kain ante 
పనులు అనగా ముందు వెనకలు కాలే కదా అడ్డంగా కూడా రావచ్చు సో దానికి కూడా చాలా మంది బాధపడతారు అందంతో సంబంధించింది కాబట్టి దానికి కూడా ఇక్కడ మేము ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేస్తుంటాము ఆర్థోడాంటిక్స్ అన్ని దాని తర్వాత వాళ్ళు పెరుగుతల ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంటంటే వాళ్ళ దవడలు అనేది కొంచెం ముందుగా ఉండడము లేకపోతే కొంచెం వెనకలుగా ఉండడం కానీ అలా ఉంటాయి సో అది కూడా చాలా మంది అందంతో సంబంధించి చాలా బాధపడతారు కాబట్టి దాని కోసం కూడా ఇక్కడ ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ అన్ని ఉంటాయి సో ఇవన్నీ వయసుతో సంబంధించిన ట్రీట్మెంట్స్ అవి చాలా మందికి తెలీదు క్లెఫ్ట్ అంటే ఏంటో సో ఇక్కడ వస్తే మేము నార్మల్ గా మేము పేషెంట్స్ కి మొదటిసారి నుంచి మొత్తం ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తుంటాము అసలు ఇది ఏంటి దీనికి ఏ వయసులో రావాల్సి వస్తుంది ఏ ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేసుకోవాలి అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ అంటే ప్రతి సంవత్సరం ఇక్కడ వచ్చి వాళ్ళు చూపించుకుంటారు దానికి ఎలా ఫాలో ఎలా వాళ్ళు ఇంప్రూవ్ అవుతున్నారు అవన్నీ మేము ఇక్కడ చూస్తుంటాము ఆ పేషెంట్స్ కి నమస్కార్ मैं हूँ डॉक्टर नैनिका कृष्णन और मैं जी एस आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ क्रेनियो फेशियल और फेशियल प्लास्टिक सर्जरी में काम कर रही हूँ जैसे मेरे कलीग्स ने आपको बताया ये हॉस्पिटल पिछले तीस सालों से क्लेफ्ट बच्चों के लिए सर्जरी कर रहे हैं पिछले तीस साल से यही हॉस्पिटल में फ्री सर्जरी करते आ रहे हैं कई बार ऐसे बच्चे जब पैदा होते हैं उनके माँ बाप उनको देख के निराश होके उनको हॉस्पिटल में छोड़ देते हैं ऐसे सिचुएशंस में हम इन बच्चों को गोद लेते हैं और हमारा क्लेफ्ट स्कूल प्रोजेक्ट में उनको भर्ती करते हैं जहां पे उनका खाना पीना रहना उनका पढ़ाई लिखाई सब चीजों का ध्यान रखते हैं जब तक उनका कॉलेज का पढ़ाई ना हो यूनिवर्सिटी लेवल तक उनका सारा ख्याल हम रखते हैं उसके अलावा उनके सारे सर्जरीज भी हम फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट करते हैं जी हॉस्पिटल में सर्जरीज के अलावा हम ट्रेनिंग एकेडमिक्स और रिसर्च पे भी फोकस करते हैं कई सारे डॉक्टर्स विदेश से भी आते हैं अपने के लिए आज तक पिछले 30 साल में तकरीबन हजार डॉक्टर्स को ट्रेनिंग दी गई है यहाँ से करंटली जी एस आर हॉस्पिटल में 20 पीएचडी प्रोग्राम्स भी चल रहे हैं जी एस आर हॉस्पिटल का यही फ्यूचर गोल है कि हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक ये बात पहुंचा सके ताकि जरूरतमंद लोग इन सुविधाओं का उपयोग कर सकते हैं